oh, 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 son. All right, guys. Here are the rods. This is the black and blue signature series, the Mike Smedley signature series. They are made by Head First Custom Rods. You see there on that logo. Rich Colson makes them. He's an incredible rod builder. I've been working with him for probably almost uh, three years now. He's built a lot of rods for me. And we wanted to make this custom uh, signature rod here because I've always uh, had to compromise with all of my rods. Uh, when it comes to casting, you know, when it comes to fishing and boating. There's always compromises. You know, you want a boat that can handle rough weather. Well, you know, can't run very shallow and you want one to run shallow and then it's not very stable in rough water. So, you know, there's always some kind of compromise. And I wanted to see if we can make the ultimate casting rod with no compromises or at least very little compromise. Well, we made this one rich. I give all the credit to rich on this one, of course, but he uh, has made the rod with no compromises and i'm super super thrilled about it guys the price is actually really really good i think it's a little too low actually for what it is uh, but let's get into the rod all right you'll see the black and blue these rods are basically identical the only thing different is the power rating so the blue is a medium heavy and the black is a heavy so I use these as a pair when I striper fish. So what I'll do is I'll put my light plastics on the medium heavy, usually with no weight on the plastic. But if I do use a weight, it's like a quarter ounce or something, three eighths, something small. And with the heavy, I chuck my poppers and glide baits and big baits, uh, you know, over three ounces, over four ounces, really, sometimes. So I can grip it and rip it with this sucker. So I use my big baits on this, lighter stuff on this, use them as a pair. They work beautifully as a pair. I'll put a video at the end here of my last day of testing with the final product, and you can kind of see how I use these as a pair. All right, getting into the blank. This is a Rain Shadow Revelation blank. What is really nice about it is it is a low modulus graphite blank. I've had problems in the past, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have had as well with high modulus graphite. Uh, they're brittle, they break. Even brand new, they break, and over time they get even worse. I broke broken so many you know three hundred dollar rods that I'll never use a high modulus graphite rod again. I mean, uh, I just can't do it. You know, I break off uh, on a cast, break off on a snag, break off setting the hook, just no good. So I didn't know a rod like this really existed. If you guys have looked at some of my videos in the past, you'll see I always use those yellow rods, and those are crankbait rods. They're just a regular S class rod, and I use those because they wouldn't break. You know, I had to give up a lot of sensitivity and balance and stuff to get that unbreakable rod. But, you know, they're, they never leave my boat. They're getting kicked and stomped on and people are bumping into them all the time. And I needed something that's going to stay together. So when uh, Rich told me about this, this blank here, he sent me a few. We did some, uh, he built a few little test rods and my goodness, man. Hold. Fish on. It's about time. Not as big as John's, but I'll take it. Is that right? First fish on the signature rod, man. Incredible. It really feels exactly like a high modulus graphite. Extremely sensitive. This is going to be for your artificials, guys. It's not going to be for live bait or, or cut bait. This rod is designed to be in your hand all day long. It's extremely balanced. It's extremely light. And it's extremely strong for its weight. All right, let's look here at the medium heavy, the blue here. You see, we got a split grip here, you know, grip it and rip it. I really cast pretty hard. Uh, I set the hook hard and uh, these rods are uh, really designed for that style of fishing. One thing that's really cool is that if you never use this before, guys, it's really, really neat is the carbon fiber grips. Now in your hand, they feel like a regular, you know, foam grip or whatever. They fill your hand the same way, but because they're carbon fiber, they're solid to the blank. So it feels like you're holding the blank directly all day. So the first thing I casted was a uh, Alabama rig. And when I was cranking it in, the rod was vibrating so much from all those paddle tails, you know, kicking in the water. I couldn't believe it. I just, I really couldn't believe it. I uh, called Rich right there from the boat and said, these, these grips have to go on the signature rods. And uh, man, if you never used them before, you're gonna love them. They're a little expensive, but like I said, we didn't want any compromise. We wanted the best we can get out of this. Over here at the real seat, there is no foregrip. 
Uh, I never really need a foregrip. I'm not going to hold the rod up here anyway. And when you add a foregrip, you're adding weight on ahead of the reel. And anytime you add unnecessary weight, it makes the tip want to go down. And we don't want that. We want it to be balanced well so the tip feels extremely light. And this way, when we get a strike, the slightest touch, we can feel the rod tip go down. And, you know, if you look at these older rods here, or not older, a lot of these rods are still made like this. It's just a, a standard way a lot of them are made. You have your foregrip here, and when you put the reel up to here, you can't get in to the nut to tighten it. So you can only get like half tight, right? And I didn't want that. I wanted something I can go ahead and just grab and just really twist that sucker down. So that's why we went with this reel seat here. The guides are small and light, but they are not micro guides. Uh, micro guides are a nightmare if you're using a connecting knot. Like a, even the FG knot here, let me see if you can see that. Even the FG knot is very small, but in a micro guide rod, it just gets hung up left and right. All day long, you'll hear that sucker rattling and getting stuck in the guides. So we went very small and very light, but these are not micro guides. And an FG knot, I've tested an FG knot and I've even tested larger uni to uni knots and they, they go through really, really nice. There's an FG knot there on the heavy. Both of these rods are seven foot. It is a moderate fast action. They are perfect for throwing your artificials. This is not meant, like I said before, for live and cut bait. It is an artificial rod, something you're gonna use all day long. Actually, there's one slight difference. If you look at the medium heavy here, you're gonna see the butt here is slightly larger. It's just a little heavier than the one on the heavy here. And that's just because when I use my plastics, I like to have the tip even a little lighter, as light as I can get. Because I'm some of these plastics I'm throwing are very small, some three, four inch plastics with no weight sometimes. So I really want as much balance as possible. And this little extra weight just helps a little bit. So if you're going to throw plastics a lot and you're the kind of guy who throws light stuff, you only want to buy one rod, the medium heavy is the one for you. If you're a plug chucker, if you're throwing glide baits and big swim baits and you know, Alabama rigs, I recommend getting the heavy. I believe uh, Rich is doing a discount if you buy, uh, buy them both. The Black and Blue series, just tell him you want them both. Rich is a veteran. He came out of the Marines in the 80s. When 9-11 happened, he re-enlisted. He came out and went back to making rods and fishing with his family. And he's just an incredible human being. I just really love all the stuff that he sent me. Beautiful rods, guys. I'll put his email in the description if you want to order from him. I know he, he, we got ahead of this a little bit and he made a bunch because it first video i put up just a little teaser video a whole bunch of guys ordered so he took that as a uh, you know as a notice to go ahead and get started and make a bunch so if you call he might have a bunch ready for you if not he's very quick at making these and he's just a fantastic rod builder guys thank you so much for your support i really do appreciate it guys please stay safe on the water leave a few for me love you mean it give you some room I don't want the popper yet. <laughs> That's it. Work that jig up and down. Work it up. Look at the screen. Those are big fish, too. Fish on. It's about time. Not as big as John's. But I'll take it. Is that right? First fish on the signature rod, man. This rod is specifically made for casting these light plastics. You got one? Record. Good job. Yeah, man. Look at that. Came right off. Look at this. Look at that swirl. <laughs> Came right off. All right, catch another one, guys.
It's all right. Pearl BKD, Eric, if you want to put one on. Holy cow, that hurt my wrist. It wouldn't touch the popper. That popper will work an hour before dark if it ain't working now. Just barely tapped it too, he did not attack it. Oh, 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 son. Oh. Oh, stay on, baby. He made a strange turn. Don't cast, don't cast. He made a really strange turn when I hooked him. Yeah, when you feel the tap, you know, you've got to swing. They do not hold on. See that? That's it. <laughs> Gotta love that, right? Let's hope this one stays buttoned. How does it feel on a signature series? Like heaven, bro. <laughs> like fishy, fishy heaven. <laughs> he makes medley. Signature shoes. Right, Mike Smokey signature shoes. I wanted a signature Rogers. I was a little kid. Oh, we can't it. Now I got it. Took you this long to. Got two of them. What's your name? Ah, that's right. I can write. Thank you. Well, you spilled it. What's with you? Not even that big. Nasty, though. Long. Man, what a fighting fish. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you got to get him. I'll take it. Yeah, Good I, job, brother. I'll be honest with you. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that fish. No, nothing. No. I'll take two just like it. That's Mike Smith's signature series. Mike That's right, baby. Series. Only two in existence right now. A lot of birds out here now that are crashing. <laughs> yeah. Man, this one wasn't gonna come off. Watch the heads of people. Watch. Bass Candy Delight 10 inch. That's a kid, thank her. <laughs> now I'll talk to you. Oh my god. Look at us. There it is right there. Good job. Look at those fish in the background, huh? Put the camera Dude, that's on. That's just that. insane. Oh. They're getting crazy. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Eric is getting real quiet. Oh, he's got it. Set the hook. Set the hook. Hey, hey Justin. Oh, he's not. It's still a good one, though. It's about time. How about that? That's the third one. Look at, look at him breaking behind my popper. Oh, there you go. Justin, here. Justin, here. Go let it in. You got it? Jeremy. Good job, Jeremy. So, Jeremy, Jeremy's fish me. coming up right now. Jeremy, tell me, how do you like the Mike Smedley signature rod, Rich Gold? I love it. You love it? The head first? Mm -hmm. Custom rod, you like it? Yeah. Guys, could you get me this spinning rod? It's right above you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yep. We designed these in a pair, so you get medium heavy and heavy. This is the medium heavy for chucking plastics, specifically these BKDs that I love. Doubled up. I'm bumping with stripes. Any fish is a good all right pearl bkd 10 inch bkd look at that little guy little guy right here. good mm -hmm. job and stages 
Shit, you rig that? Right on these birds right here. Oh, jeez. Look at that right there. It's how a real man cast. <laughs> Let it rip, bud. Go ahead. Good job. <laughs> how are they not hitting this popper? I need the BKD. Justin, are you done recording him? Can you hand me the rod with the BKD on it, please? It's got that long white thing. Here, catch that. Real quick, you might notice the, the reel that I have on here. You guys know that I like to throw the Abu, uh, the Toros, the Beast, and the, uh, the Rebo Toro. And uh, I've been experimenting with cheaper reels, you know, just to see what's out there. I haven't used anything other than Abu in such a long time that I want to try some lesser expensive stuff. I like to try to find less expensive stuff so I can recommend it. So many people are new to fishing. So many people are just getting into fishing. And so many people just don't have the money to just, you know, buy a $300 reel. And uh, I want to see what else is out there. So I was playing with this Cast King a little bit. This is like an $89 reel. Uh, I have reservations to talk about it yet because i've only had it a few months and i like to really beat the crap out of stuff before i even say anything good or bad about it so i don't know how it's going to hold up in, cur in corrosive areas like salt water and you know super heavy salt water i'm using a lot i don't rinse my stuff every trip there's just no way you're fishing almost every single day i just don't rinse it every time so i don't know how well this is going to hold up so far it's been great it's been surprisingly great this is a magnetic uh, backlash. It's not centrifugal. It is nine plus one bearing. So it's a 10 bearing with the any reverse bearing magnetic control, which is nice. I like magnetic for soft plastics because when I turn casting one way with the wind, I turn the other way. I can just make a quick adjustment here. Uh, so I like that for my soft plastics. And so far, this reel has honestly been way, 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 way better than I really uh, ever thought it could be. So follow up on that i'll do some videos after i've had some time to really soak these in the salt and beat them up a little more but as of right now i really like it. it's cast king crixus c-r-i-x-u-s i believe it's about 80 bucks and i really like it so far